Hey guys, Will, Flawless Exotic Creations here. I'm stoked about what's in front of us. Uh, we got a bunch of different projects that's coming on. One of them right now, um, gonna unveil uh, in this unboxing. And then another edition where we just jumped off the deep end and now we're going down a whole nother path as well. So let's get you guys to it for this unboxing. This one is gonna be from, it's weird with the shipping label, cause there's no return address on it, but it's Cold-Blooded Kingdom. Um, Cold-Blooded Kingdom, let's see how we make out. Nice, Cold-Blooded Kingdom sticker. Got to get that on the board. Business card. Mm. Heat pack. Put it on top. Pack very nicely. I'm trying to stop saying very so much. We have more. Oh, she's pretty solid. That's a female. So we're getting into a lot of, you know, the recessive and multi-recessive multi uh, projects, which is where the whole hobby is going. We want to see what we can create, see what kind of cool things we can create. Um, and eventually we'll be, we have a, a facility that we share with the Crested Geckos. Go follow that channel. Follow this channel, subscribe, but go follow that channel. That's our main channel, Flawless Crested Geckos. Um, we built a facility and we was able to notch out space in it to have fun with the ball pythons. Wow, okay. So what we have here is a beautiful ultra male female. Got that belly. You yeah, see the belly? Come on, girl. Wow. So, got a number of projects from the worker into um, maybe clown, maybe some unannounced stuff. Nice to see her. And a few different things. I love the paint jobs on these guys. So she's beautiful. Cold Blooded Kingdom. Thank you so much, guys. Go check them out. They're huge. Um, they've been doing it for a while. Now for the next unboxing. It's gonna be rather pretty interesting. So this one is going to be from Dynasty Reptiles down in Florida. Very, very reputable, um, very large operation they're running. And went to their website, they can just ball pythons alone. They have other animals that they work with, but ball pythons alone, I want to say they had at that time, they're running a sale, amazing sale. Um, it's going to be over by the time uh, this video posts, but. It was 15% uh, off their mark prices and free shipping on all ball pythons. Shipping right now is insane. We ship geckos every single week. Um, several shipments out every single week. Shipment, I mean, it's anywhere from on the low side of $75 to the high side of 100 bucks to ship out right now. And we're still charging fixed, fixed shipping rates of, um, uh, fixed shipping charges $60. Uh, Audrey and I have been going back for about, you know, up in that because we were trying to hold hang in there and kind of just eat it on our end until the industry adjusts, but it doesn't look like it's adjusting. It's continuing to go up. But, how you say? I digress. Um, so with this one, this was an unexpected one. We are extremely female heavy with the snakes, which is where we want to be. And we started revamping some of the things that we're doing. So we're like, hmm, 
with all these females, all these very concentrated projects, I start talking to other people that's been doing this, trying to pick their brain and see if I'm prepared and I'm not. Um, we're, we're gonna, and the reason I'm not prepared is because we do have a few uh, proven males, but for the most part, all our males, about 80% of our males are not proven, are young, are gonna be first time breeders. So they, just like Miguel at Always Evolving um, Pythons, advised on one of his videos, I watch everything right now. I'm trying to get educated, as much education as possible. Um, you need to snatch up the males. You need to snatch up the males when you can. So while we're at the early stages of uh, launching and getting going and having fun, I figured I would jump into a project with a male uh, where we really don't have a breeding program or even a structure of what we're gonna do quite with them yet. Um, but to be able to have this, what I'm gonna show you, um, makes what we're about to do and what we're getting into, I mean, limitless. So this is Dynasty Reptiles. Stickers, loving stickers, loving stickers. So it lasts eight on the 15th of April. Okay. So what I'm gonna show you here is They provide their phone number and everything. So, sorry guys, um, we know the details. So, Dynasty Reptiles, who is this from? What did we get, you say? Well, we got a oh, pack. Perfectly. We have a super, we have a banana super sentinel. Been doing the research. These are tied. So I've been doing the research, and apparently, Sentinel and Paint is the same gene. Um, when it was first discovered, it was put. Uh, it was listed as a codon, um, and now it's been reclassified as a recessive. Uh, but in my amateur opinion, and apparently Dynasty Reptiles experienced opinion, it's actually codon. So it's currently restructured and relisted as a recessive, but it's a codon. Um, why? Because the single gene form of it um, does not produce that quote unquote head form if it was recessive, um, has visual um, influxes on a normal, it doesn't come out looking as a normal. You could differentiate a normal from um, a single gene sentinel or paint. So since you could differentiate a normal from a single gene sentinel or paint, then it's actually a codon because it's more than just seeing markers on the snake, it's actually visually different altogether from a normal. Um, and then when you've got two copies of the gene like this guy, um, you get that super form. So you get a super form. Ooh, you ready to get out of there? Oh, could you crap? Because he ate on the 15. Check that out. And you stink, buddy. <laughs> oh, just gonna kill me. Well, we do our unboxings in here because um, we want to quarantine these guys. So I'm going to put them in a quarantine rack before I put them into the facility. This guy's actually got some good weight on them already. Wow. Audra loves all these bright, bright, bright colors. I do too. Now the work, you see that stripe down its back, very distinctive. So we have a banana super sentinel male that we have no program for. But guess what? It's good to have because we can start, you know, sentinel clowns, uh, sentinel red stripes, black pastel sentinels. Um, <laughs> we're really going to dive into it. So that's where we at guys. I appreciate you guys hanging out with us, um, checking us out and 
continuing to check out this series of videos as we have things continuing to come in. This ain't the last. We got a ton lined up for you guys. Um, go over to Flawless Crested Geckos. Follow us over there with our journey. Um, literally going from everyday working people to small business owners full time. Um, both Audra and I are in law enforcement uh, for years and now this is what we do and we have a lot more fun doing this and it's much much more enjoyable um follow us here so you can see how goofy we are um we're taking a business approach to it but this is not our main focus we want to have fun we want to show you guys the journey she's very scared of snakes she's already leaps and bounds from where she was um she's holding them she's checking in on them and everything now so this is going awesome i said i was gonna to try to stop saying dairy so it's going great um continue to follow us share our videos thank you guys so much flawless desire creations will signing out